Yeah, man, it's the 26th of June, 2023, and I want to do an update about bodily torture with broadcast that gang stalkers do with uh, satellite broadcast remote neural monitoring where they're able to control broadcast to physically penetrate your body. Uh, I've talked about rotation a lot of times, and what I mean is where they'll attack a certain area of your body until the point that it's starting to become more of a serious injury or something that's starting to become obvious. Like if you're going to have to seek medical treatment and you understand that it's from broadcast torture and they're actually destroying your body, then they'll back off of that, that area. Okay. They'll, they'll also move to another area. So it's not like you're just going to quit getting tortured if that's their plan for you. So, uh, with my case, I've been talking about on this channel and the other channel where they've been attacking different parts of my body, but the phases that they go through where uh, lately it's been a lot of uh, my, my right foot and the right foot is still happening, but it's happening about half as much because it started to become a pretty solid injury where I was like limping around and now it's kind of so-so, okay? But before it was like, my foot was actually like curling up, okay? Like where it was almost like you had a stroke or something like that. You ever seen somebody where their body is curled up, where they've had some sort of thing like that? And that's what was starting to happen to my right foot. And obviously if I get to the point where I can't walk and I have to go and seek medical attention, and I'm, I'm gonna say, yeah, this is from broadcast torture. So they, for about the last two or three days, about three days maybe, they've backed off, but only like halfway. They are still doing the foot, but they've backed off of it um, enough to, to, so it's not like something where I have to immediately seek medical attention because I can't walk. But also you've heard about, if you follow these, these channels and my videos for years, I've been talking about how they attack my left knee. Now, let me, let me grab something real quick, okay? Okay, so I did a video yesterday, I think, about the flashlight, okay? A small flashlight. And what I'm doing right now is uh, lately, okay, I actually take the light and I'm just putting it on my knee like this and I'm just running it around my knee and basically it's getting the broadcast off of me temporarily. It's disrupting their broadcast. So it messes up their broadcast. They get ill about it, but what happens is it gives me immediate relief. It gives me immediate relief from their broadcast and from the torture where they had the broadcast into my knee. And I'm having to do that. I'm, I just had got it off charge, okay? Because I'm have this is a chargeable flashlight. I'm having to do this like every, really, I could just do it every five minutes and just give it about 30 seconds of putting the flashlight on me. But, I mean, obviously, I can't just sit here around and, and do flashlight on my leg all day. It doesn't work that way. So, um, I'm doing it when it's unbearable. And I try to do it at least uh, maybe five or ten times a day just to give myself a little bit of relief because this this whole thing where they've rotated, where a lot of them are putting their broadcast on my left knee again, and it's starting, it's like I'm this morning, I'm limping around, you know, and, and when I stand up, like I can really feel it a lot. Uh, the thing is that if you look at my knee, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. And... Typically, there's really is nothing wrong with it, but the broadcast, when they put it in there, it hurts a lot. It hurts bad, and it does cause you to have a temporary, temporary disability. It, it debilitates you at the time when they're doing it. Now, if they move the broadcast, or if I use the flashlight on the broadcast, then it, it will fix that, okay? It, it, it'll make it better. But what happens is over time with like long periods of time where they continue to do something on a consistent basis, it starts to cause permanent damage. And my left knee is never going to be 100% because they continue to attack it over time. And it's, they've been, this one have been, it's been one of their main spots that they've attacked over the course of uh, going on 11 years now. 
So it's something where they have caused some significant damage and it is somewhat debilitating. Now the pain and the, the ultimately the current injury, it goes away if they'll just move the broadcast. But when they put the broadcast on there, it's like instantly it hurts. Even when they move the broadcast though, I can tell at this point from excessive torture that there is damage. But I wanted to note that the last three days they've been hardcore on my left knee again. They're still on the right foot and they've still been in my abdomen some and uh, in my neck some and like on my face and on my genital area somewhat, but not not severely. Okay, but the the combination of the right foot and the left knee, it's really debilitating. And that's what they want to they want to destroy your mobility and your capabilities to be able to be active and athletic. And it's like, you know, if, if it's it's like uh, a grand scheme. Okay, like if um, if I can uh, pull one of your teeth out, you know, every month, then eventually you're not going to be able to eat food. OK, you may be able to get some fake teeth or something like that. But you see what I'm getting at. If they if they just attack this and attack that and then you can't hardly walk and then you start to become uh, less active, which leads to worse health, which is an overall plot that they have. And why are they so obsessed? I don't know. I don't know. They're they're just about trapped into this as much as we are once they've done so much they have to monitor you for the rest of your life to make sure that you don't get neural monitoring and then uh do something to hold them accountable or or uh something like maybe create a website and put them their pictures and their families all over it and say these are the terrorists the domestic terrorists that use broadcast torture uh, and torture humans in a form of slavery and genocide and horrible assault torture okay anyway that's what's going on right now so uh thank you guys for watching and i will update again soon